So, how's it going guys? Uh, it's me for a new video and today I'm going to present you how to configure modeling for your 3D printer and today we're going to configure modeling for your ANET printer uh, with the basic things like uh, for the ANET A8 and for the ANET A6 and going so. So, uh, I'm going to start so with the ANET printer uh, because it's the most uh, known one and I'm going to continue to show you how to configure for your ROMs um, printer or every other printer you know in the world, I hope. So let's get started with um, my computer screen as you can see here in front of me so I'm showing it to you. Uh -huh. You see my computer screen with a Porsche logo that I made by myself, I'm really proud of it but hey, we don't need to talk about this. I'm in focus now. Yeah, great, let's get started. So, we are gonna open your uh, main software for running Google and stuff, and we are going to download the Arduino software. So, there we go. Uh, you need to download it uh, somewhere here. So, click here and uh, keep going on the things to install it on your computer. It's working on Mac, li Linux and Windows. I'm working on Windows 10, so that's great. And we're going to continue and download the Marlin software. All the links are in the video description, as always. So there we go, we're going to pick the last version of Marlin. We're going to download it, there it is. And then we're going to need uh, the libraries uh, things to open uh, your motherboard into uh, the Arduino software. So there we go, this one is for the ROMs uh, in general. Uh, if I don't mention one of your uh, main board, you can always uh, search on um, Google for your main board. So it's your 10 uh, li Arduino library. I'm typing in French because I'm French and you guys. So there we go, you're gonna find out the libraries for your printer and there we go, like on Google, and it's really easy. So I'm gonna download uh, really quickly the one which is U8 uh, Glib Arduino for the RAMS one. Click download Zip here. Then we're gonna download the one for the ANET mainboard, which is right here, and we're gonna do the same. Uh, you're gonna put them on your um, desktop here. You're gonna open them, uh, put Marlin.1 uh, here on your main, uh, on your desktop here. Here we go, then do the same for U8 uh, Glib1, and this is the same for the ANET mainboard. Depending on your, the mainboard you're gonna use for this purpose, so there we go. Then, then we can delete uh, all the remaining files we don't need, and there we go. For this part of the video, we're gonna start with the ANET uh, parts, with like for the A8 and stuff. Um, main board that's gonna be really easy. The main part is that's gonna be the shortest part because it's really easy. There is a pre configuration um, with Marlin, so it's really easy. I recommend you to download like a software like Notepad++ to open up the files and edit them more easily, but we're gonna mainly use Arduino software as we downloaded earlier. So there we go, you're gonna open up Marlin folder here and then you're gonna find out Marlin and goes into the example configuration to get the ANET one. If you use ROMs, I recommend you, and you need uh, obviously, to keep the files that are here, configuration and configuration advanced. You're gonna uh, copy them and pass them on your desk. Before doing all of that, we're gonna install uh, Anet mainboard uh, things into the library. So to do that, you're gonna open up where you install Arduino things in your computer. You're gonna open up the documents folder in your computer and you're gonna find Arduino here. And you're gonna just slide it into the folder and there you go. And for the ANET mainboard, you're gonna open up the Arduino software on your computer where you install it. Normally it's on the main um, hard drive. So uh, you're gonna place the ANET mainboard uh, folder into the hardware one. So there we go, now you're ready to start and configure modeling on the Arduino software. So in order to do that, you're gonna open up the main folder with uh, Marlin 1.1 X. Uh, you're gonna grab in example configuration, you're gonna go on and choose your printer here. So for me it's gonna be the ANET A8 
this time. So I'm gonna grab those two one, copy them and pass them into this main folder, which is the basic morning things. You know, I replace uh, those two files because otherwise you can't have them in the software. So let's replace them. Then you're almost ready to go. So what's gonna we're gonna do here is to find out the morning I know things to open it in Arduino and there is the Arduino software booting up we're gonna have the ability to configure it right now so there it is we're gonna pass uh, the most of uh, our time into the configuration.h and configuration underscore advanced that's h and some other one on the right parts of your screen I'm gonna show everything later on uh, the video. So let's start with uh, by scrolling down. So I remind you this part is for the Anet mainboard. Uh, you need to wait a bit to see the ROMs one. So later in the video, if you want to um, have more features on your Anet mainboard, you can just follow the whole tutorial and you will find out. So uh, let's get started. There we go. So there is the main uh, things. There is like Delta printer and Skyra printer. And for you, I'm gonna just put my software in English. That's like you can better understand what is going on right here. So there we go. I'm back in English one. So yep, you're gonna scroll down the whole things and you're gonna find like uh, interesting things like the baud rate. You need to change it if you have uh, many printers uh, that allows you to recognize with your computer the printer you're using so yep that's useful so there we go um, yeah that's the motherboard we are using so if you have many extruder which I don't think you so if you have like two or three or more extruder you're gonna like put two three but we have one extruder here so we're gonna put like only one. You're gonna put the fil filament diameter here, uh, depending on the filament you're using. So I'm gonna use uh, 175 here. Uh, that's right. Then uh, we're gonna keep scrolling down. We're gonna arrive in thermal settings. Uh, that's normally all already set up, so you don't have to need. You don't need to change uh, that much of things here. So that's great. PED settings. Uh, uh, most of the things are already configured in the Anet uh, example configuration, so you're okay. That's already configured, and if not, uh, you just copy and you just pass on your software. So, if you use a sensor to probe your bed, uh, there is the important part of the things. You're gonna have like, um, you're gonna define here what kind of sensor you're using so here we are you we're using a sensor which is already mounted to your extruder and to do that we are going to uncommon this line commenting and uncommenting the line uh, allows you to uh, let the software you know if you use this line or if you don't use this line uh, like i just uncommon this uh, line by unslashing the two slash in the front of the line like that the software know if you're using like the thing said fixed mounted probe so yep that's the basic things that's an interesting thing because uh, it will allow to the software to know where your sensor is fixed so personally mine is fixed like 45 millimeters in front of the car edge so as you see uh, with these little um, things you can see that when the sensor is in front gonna need to add minus in front so minus 45 millimeters for mine keep scroll down because the most part of the in its uh, software is already configured so that's great if you have a different bed size uh, for your in its printer you're gonna just change it right here so by default is 220 on most of the in its printer and if you want to upgrade it and stuff you're gonna like put uh, 300 millimeters bed there you go so yep the basics one is 220 and for the z's max uh limit is 
like 240. There is the interesting part, uh, is the bed leveling. So as I said before, I'm gonna use personally a probe from my bed. And I'm for that, I'm gonna use the bilinear uh, methods. I recommend you this one because I use it and it's working fine, so that's okay. I never tried the linear one and I don't really know what it's doing. So there is an interesting part here. G29 is going to probe your bed at like the number of um, parts on your bed we're gonna choose here like by, by default is three and we're gonna put nine like that your probe gonna just reach the bed at nine different points of your bed you can add like 15 i guess points maximum to probe your bed and um your sensor will uh, where the bed is curved or so and it's gonna correct it uh, when you're printing so that's a really nice feature uh, and i recommend you to put nine because I use it and that's the most the one which is working the best so yep there we go and for doing these things which is the G29 you need to home hold the printer like that the printer know where she is and she can probe by G29 so you need to do G28 then G29 if you use a sensor and your bed is like homing at the wrong uh, angle of your printer like it's going to the on the left and it's going into the void you're gonna just want to uh, move your uh, print head in the middle of the bed in order to do that you're gonna uncomment this uh, line which is Z safe homing if you don't want to search uh, on your wall configuration you're gonna press ctrl F to just open the find windows and you're gonna like put the seed underscore say homing thing and as so you're gonna find this line and uncomment it and you're gonna have the possibility to use your printer as it should we're gonna find the preheat uh, configuration here the first one is for the PLA uh, preheat and the second one is for the ABS preheat usually when you preheat your printer it's like uh, going uh, 190 degrees as it's already configured on your Marlin software at the beginning so I want personally to preheat at 200 degrees and for the bed 60 degrees and for the ABS sump uh, I'm going to use PETG on it so I'm gonna put my PETG configuration on so it's gonna be 70 and 230 yep then there we go you're ready to go and it's going to be way quicker to preheat your printer. That's an important part where you're gonna find LCD and SD support uh, because uh, depending where you live, uh, you might not be English or French or whatever. You're gonna just change those uh, two leaders and just find your language here. For example, if you are Spanish, you're gonna put ES. There we go. And personally, I'm French, so I'm gonna put FR here and it's gonna be like a French version of the Morlin software. That's pretty much it in the whole configuration for the ANET printer, but there is a few things that might interest you here, like the SD support. So if you have a SD card reader on your printer, which you might obviously have on your ANET printer, I mean, if it's uncommon, like if it's like, it's if it's commented here, you're gonna just remove this uh, two slash and you're gonna have the SD support, so there you go. Extra features, I don't really recommend you to put a lot of them because those are, I mean, those are really cool. I used it, I used them a lot on my MM8, but the only issue is that um, the capacity of your ANET mainboard is really small. I mean, like there is only 12 gig, I guess, of space storage so yep if you put too much extra features you just can't put uh, every th single things on your mainboard because that's gonna be like the software might be like 13 15 gigs of uh, space so i hope you got me because i don't explain that really well the last few things i'm gonna show you to configure uh, your merlin software uh, for the anet mainboard is like you can go here in the little uh, I don't know how we say that. <laughs> uh, little things here, and you're gonna find out uh, like the language version of uh, your pet. Like for example, I choose French version, so I'm gonna go in language dot underscore fr version, 
and I can choose um, the wall things and change the the, um, the name of the menu inside my printer. So for example, I'm gonna choose the English one because I'm talking in English now. So there we go. Uh, there is like everything's here and for example, uh, you can change things like like if you want to change things uh, on your menu, you can change here. But you need to keep those two things, those two characters here, otherwise it's it's not gonna work. So there we go, we are ready to uh, configure the ROMs version or all the other version, version you can have for your 3D printer. I'm gonna use ROMs one because I'm using ROMs. And in order to do that, you gonna have to keep uh, the configuration.h and the advanced configuration of your Merlin clean. So, I mean, you're gonna just download the things and there you go. And if you watch all the video uh, at the beginning, at the beginning I said uh, you need to install U8 uh, Glib uh, folder inside of uh, some folder in your Marlin things. Uh, you're okay, so let's get started. So for that, uh, you're gonna have to uh, a clean version of your configuration here and you're gonna just click and go into example configuration once again, yep, and find your printer. And for example, I'm gonna use like my Enet A8 printer and I'm gonna copy here that things, copy and just paste on your desktop. So there you got uh, your uh, uh, example configuration for your printer and we're gonna use it and uh, just to get the settings right on your on your ROMs, so that's why. And you're gonna open up the folder Merlin here and there we go. So I recommend you to open the example configuration with like a software like I'm using Notepad++ to just find out the line uh, more easily and stuff. So there we go. So that's one gonna be mm, a bit tough, but uh, we're gonna succeed at that, I hope. You're gonna go in the configuration.h folder here and you're gonna scroll down because not a lot of things are interesting here. You can change the baud rates depending on uh, uh, how many printer you have. Uh, I recommend you to use a um, unique baud rate for each printer. There you're gonna set the number of extruder you're using so I'm going to use only one extruder but if you're using like four extruder you're gonna put four here. There are the thermal settings and I'm using only one sensor but if you're using more you just need to put one here and so on. There are thermal runaway protection and uh, if you don't want them, which I really don't recommend you, I really recommend you to let them on because that's like a protection. Really important parts here where you're gonna put like a uh, true here instead of false, otherwise you're gonna home your printer in the wrong um, way. Like it's gonna do like, I don't know what, it's happened to me and it did a lot of shitty things. So. I recommend you to put true and I mean you need so there we go on the three first line and on the last one for disease uh, and stop. We're gonna open up the configuration.h of your printer which you pick into the example configuration of, of Marlin and you're gonna find out uh, these parts of your printer which has the which are the movement settings here. So there is the there are the movement settings and you're gonna just uh, as you see it's not like the one we want to print correctly with your printer. It may depend on the printer and uh, on a lot of things so yep there you go. For the N it's one is a uh, hundred and stuff and you're gonna do that for the three lines this one I'm gonna do it. Do the same for old line here and the last line here. So for that you need to put like the number which are, are shown here on the left. You're good to go now and see the Z's probe option. So that's gonna help you if you have a um, sensor on your printer which I really recommend you because it's really useful. You're gonna define uh, which kind of mounting probe you're using. So personally, I'm gonna use the fixed mounted probe. So I'm gonna uncommon this line. The fixed mounted probe is when you have your sensor fixed to the carriage. So yep, that's uh, why I'm using this here. You're gonna find these little things here and you're gonna define where your sensor is from your carriage. You need to check out how much millimeters there is between the nozzle and the sensor itself. So 
for me it's like really straight so it's like zero in the x position and minus 45 in the y position you're gonna need to be really careful because it's minus when it's in front and plus when it's backward uh, the carriage so yeah check these uh, little things here to help you so keep scrolling down and then you're gonna find like great things and you're gonna arrive to these three lines and you're gonna set the, the bed size and for me it's 220 but it may change depending on your bed choose x and y size here and for the z it's 250 for me so uh, you're gonna find uh, the way you're gonna use your sensor and for me it's gonna be bilinear so i'm gonna just uncommand this line uh, in order to get probing correctly so keep scrolling down and you're gonna find these uh, things which i explained quite a bit uh, in the first part of the video which is the g29 option uh, this number is the way your sensor is gonna probe your bed. So personally, I'm gonna put nine points uh, like that. My probe, my sensor is gonna probe nine different points on my bed to know how much it's curved and stuff, and correct those curve uh, in the prints. So that's really useful, and I'm gonna put nine personally. In order to use this uh, option, which is the G29 uh, things, you need to do a G28 before, so a home all before the nine points probing there you're gonna find this line which is really important if you use a sensor if or if you don't use a sensor it does don't matter a lot you're gonna uncomment this line because like that uh, it's telling the software to go in the middle of the bed to probe correctly and not probe uh, outside the outside of the bed and do shit and not probe correctly you can use it with your sensor or with your end stop it doesn't matter i said it. so that's really great and if your um, your sensor is probing like not exactly in the middle of the bed that's not much of an issue because it's doing the same thing for me like it's probing on an edge of the bed and that's not really a lot of uh, problem in the things so you're okay but there is a preheat configuration so the first three lines are for the PLA preheat and I'm gonna use 260 degrees uh, to uh, preheat my bed and my hot end in order to print PLA the second one is for the ABS but I'm gonna personally use it for the PETG uh, materials, so I'm gonna put my PETG settings here. But you're gonna find out the LCD and SD supports. The default language is English, so you're gonna just read this line and you're gonna find your, your language and put what kind of language you're talking, so I'm gonna but French because I'm French so it's FR here the SD support which is right here uh, if you have an SD card reader which I really recommend you to for the long prints I'm gonna just uncommon those two lines and you're ready to go extra features there is a lot of great features which can really help you um, be careful uh, to the storage of your main board uh, it can store a certain amount of data so be careful to not put too much extra feeders uh, to just fit the wall configuration into your main board. So the configuration.h is finished. Finito. If you want to pimp more your printer, you're gonna have the language you're talking. Like for me, it's gonna be like language underscore fr. So I'm gonna go in this folder and you're gonna just change all this, the menu you want. That's just the, the menu name and stuff. So you know, just change it if you want. And yeah, there we go. So you need to just keep those two characters here in order to let the things working perfectly. Things which is great to pimp your printer is to just add the boost screen. There is like one, the version of Merlin and uh, under you're gonna find a website URL uh, it's for Merlin's uh, purpose, so if you want to change that and change the name of your printer, you're gonna just press Ctrl F, just put the version to find really easily the line we want. Search, search in all sketch tabs, so you know, just press it and it's gonna search in the whole things, and you're gonna find this here. So, yeah, there you go. 
So for example, the main things is like 1.1.8 and I want to put like A in it's A6, I named it six, 6 as I want. And there you go, you're gonna scroll down a bit and you're gonna find the machine name and you, if you want to, to change the machine name, you can do it as so. You're gonna just put uh, the machine name you want. You can just put rubber inside, which is a really French name, and you can change a lot of things. A quick tips I give you is if you want to change some uh, menu inside of your printer, you're just gonna just put a really special name like that you know where it is in your software and you know where it is in your printer in order to change it really easily on your printer. There we go, uh, it's the whole things and you can verify your printer here, uh, The I mean the configuration you're using. So uh, if you have failed like this one, it's that's telling me that's the board that I'm using the right one. So for the ANET board, you're gonna use that or ANET V1 uh, things. And for the ROMS one, you're gonna use Arduino Mega ADK here. Yep, you're gonna select this board and you're gonna select your ports you're using, but I'm not gonna select it because I'm printing uh, something with this printer. So, yep. So there we go, you're gonna verify your sketch and uh, if you have any like uh, error problems, you're gonna just uh, copy the error and find it in the whole software and correct it and I hope it will work for you. If it's don't, uh, leave a comment down below if you have any problems or search on Google, it's really useful and you might find your things you need. I'm also leaving my configuration, so if you really, you're really loose, uh, you can just find my configuration, uh, some things uh, that might help you. But like you can see, my configuration is okay, it's working here, and to transfer it, uh, it to your printer, you're gonna be really careful and select the Arduino things, uh, depending on your board you're using and the uh, uh, ports you're using and you're gonna just upload it on your board and there you go you have Merlin on your printer and you enjoy it and you do better prints and better everything that's just really nice so thanks for following the whole video i hope you enjoy it and uh, i took a lot of time to prepare all of this uh, video and i hope you enjoy it so share it comment and like it uh, if you like so see you next time for another video i really appreciate it so see ya